ham clock, unboxing, setup, and demo. Got that coming up next. Bill from Ham Radio Basics here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. Everyone loves a ham clock. They provide a lot of great useful information to the amateur radio operator. Unfortunately, they can be complex and difficult and cumbersome to set up. Well, Veritum Research solves that problem. They produce ham clocks in two forms. They produce them in a display case, which is really nice, and they also produce a standalone module that you can hook up to your monitor and to, to Ethernet, and you'll have your ham clock. So without any further ado, we're going to roll the clip for the unboxing, then the setup, and then the demo. Okay, we're going to do the unboxing of the ham clock here. Uh, it comes in a priority mailbox, and on top uh, an invoice, and then a comprehensive set of directions are with it as well. Here's a nice bubble wrap on top of it to protect it. See, this is made in the USA. Let's go ahead and open up this box. And there is the power adapter. And here is the module. Take a look at the ports on the back, on the side, on the bottom, and the UPC on there, and then there's USB ports and an Ethernet port right there. Okay, that was the unboxing. We're going to go ahead and do the setup right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you the setup. Here's the Ethernet cable. You can see I have that plugged directly uh, into my router. There's the HDMI cable that's plugged into my big screen TV. And also I have a mouse in one of the USB ports because you do need an input device. And then you connect this in to power the device on. I've also included a copy of the complete detailed instructions on how to get the ham clock set up. And one item of note, you do need to enter your Wi-Fi password to be able to get it on. And once you have done that, it's ready to go. And here is the demo. Okay, here we are in the ham clock. And of course, you can see in the upper left-hand corner my information regarding my ID. Um, you can select different things. For example, terrain here. Uh, you can take a look you, if you want to add a grid onto it, latitude and longitude, uh, and you have various other options to be able to do that here as well. Click OK when you're done. Again, you got to use the mouse, the mouse interface. And you can see I added grid lines on there. Now here is where you can change your satellites. And one thing that you need to note is you need to wait for the satellites um to uh show up in this from the system in there and it does take a few minutes to do that and we're going to go ahead and change the satellite to fo29 and it will show up down there in the lower left hand corner Here we're going to go back and see if we've acquired more satellites in there. And we do have more satellites in there. And the one I've been looking for is ISS. We can go ahead and select that and hit OK. And wait for a minute for the information to pop up. And then it does pop up and ISS rise in one hour and five minutes.
Another item of note, Baradum does supply you with a comprehensive user guide where you can go ahead in to the ham clock and customize it to your choosing. An item of note, Veritum Research is absolutely fantastic. The gentleman that I purchased this through on the website actually set it up for me with my call sign and my latitude and longitude. Question of the day, what did you think of the ham clock unboxing, setup, and demo? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to QSO. 7-3s everyone.